Hello and welcome back to another video. So in today's video the bulk of it I think is just going to be me prepping for the TB test, moving the cattle, bringing them down, putting in the first few bales, fingers crossed they're good because uh, they're all this year's bales um, and a few jobs like that. I'm actually down here with the cows and calves at the moment, you can see them there behind me. Um, I've just left them out of this patch here um, and to be fair to them they have fed it down fairly well considering the weather we've had. Yesterday it rained all day. It did not stop all day and it was supposed to stop in the evening and the torrential rain woke me up last night. So to be fair to them, I don't know if you can see it very well there, but they haven't done a bad job at all considering, do you know, you think more of it would be trampled in to be honest. Now look, they were looking to go yesterday and I said no. Give it, give it one more night and I'll let you go in the morning, which I have done. So I kept my word, but I think at this point in the year, there isn't really much point in us keeping them here and getting them to feed it right down because thankfully we're in a great position with grass. We have plenty of it for now. Um, it should definitely do us into November as long as we get the weather. And to be honest, it's not looking like we will. There's some lovely fine days coming now, so that's great. It'll prolong things. Ooh, sorry about that wind. Um, but I don't know. I can't see them staying out for too long in November, to be honest. And here, if we get into November, it'll be nearly a month longer than last year. So I think I'm going to try and get the topper in here today. I don't have a massive amount on today. I need to just drive a stake above where the yearlings are and I'm going to run a temporary fence down just to make moving them at the weekend that bit easier because they're a little bit flighty at the moment. But apart from that, I think I could throw the topper on and top this place because I'm going to put the backing wire back on here anyway. So I could top it and sure it'll be coming some bit over the winter anyway and there might be a bit there for the summer and I think or for the spring should I say and I think it would do it well because you know it's a bit strong there in parts and the topper would make a good job of it so I think I might try and do that today as well but your luck we'll see how I go I'll bring you along with me anyway next job anyway will be up to the yearlings drive that post and set up that uh, wire and sure we'll give you a look at it anyway Now that's the bins filled up anyway, you know it's winter testing time when I have those bins filled and um, I feel bad. The neighbour obviously has some calves over the ditch and they could obviously hear me with the knots and I'd say they're probably used to getting a bit of meal and they're bellowing like mad but whew, that's that done anyway. Off out with the tractor now to get the topper. I'll get that done and I'll probably come back to you tomorrow then. I'm going to take the weight off the front because I want it to be as light as possible. 
in the field. So I'll do that, get the topping done, give you a look at it afterwards, and hopefully I'll be back in the morning when we're bringing the yearlings down and putting them just out here. Now that's another job done, although not the best job I've ever done, to be fair. It's a little bit rough, I've missed a few and whatnot, but um, look, I just wanted to get it done and the evenings are um, closing in these days, so I don't have that much time and um, this field is very awkward. Now, most of our fields are awkward, to be fair, but this one in particular, because it really falls off, so last year, or was it the start of this year? Whenever I topped this, I think it was the start of this year. Um, I didn't top down there because I was too nervous of the slope. Um, so I'd say it hasn't been topped in probably five years, if not more. So you can imagine how thick those rushes were down there. So obviously I want to be careful with the 135. So I did down there in low second. So it just takes so long. You're barely moving along. Uh, whereas up here I was able to go in a high first, which wasn't too bad. But the amount of time I spent down there, I couldn't believe it you know when I was done I was like that must be a big space and I just looked back and I was thinking how did that take me so long but anyway I flew through it up here then and as a result there's a couple of bits missed but I, overall it's quite good didn't really cut up the ground at all to be honest Um, a little bit where I was turning at times but overall good very good actually Um which is bizarre, I don't understand it. But anyway, um, it is done anyway. So that's the joys of the 135. It's just very easy on the ground. It's great. So look, hopefully a little bit will grow back over the, the autumn and winter and the start of spring before we need them in here again. But um, yeah, happy to have that done. So next up will be in the morning when we're moving the yearlings. Now I'm just up here about to get the cows. I'm out of breath because that hill kills me, but they all seem eager to come, so that's good anyway. Um, hopefully this will be straightforward. So everyone was very well behaved and came straight out the gap, kept following me as I shook the bucket of nuts, except for this fella. He saw the fresh grass, put the head down, so I had to leave the ones below, shake out a couple of nuts, come back up and drive them down. Then this crowd 
saw me going up so turned so then I had to turn them around but sure of course that got them excited then and what turned out to be lovely and smooth this ended up happening they cut up the whole place um fairly bad around there not too bad further down but that's exactly what I was trying to avoid happening um by walking them down but sure I suppose it never really goes to plan though does it so as you can see quite soft up here oh it's actually awful to see that I went up and stood in all the holes but anyway they got down not a bother the wire worked really well and just kept the damage in one place we're flying down my nana's in the doorway there keeping an eye on what's going on so once they're down this point it's smooth sailing really dad collected me in the gator so i got a spin down the boreen which was handy and thankfully uh, rob was in front of them um i just roared at him to keep going <laughs> and uh, as he reminded me of later now so i'll leave them alone they're happy out so i'll go and see the other ones and um i'll probably just pick this video up on tuesday when we put them all into the shed and i start using my ever run loader to put in a, a bale or two as well so um i'll pick up then we're going to do weighing as well but i'll probably leave that in a separate video because this will be an hour long <laughs> otherwise so um yeah we'll be busy now next week it'll be a busy week Now don't laugh at me here because it did take me a minute to try and figure out what exactly I was trying to do in my head and then make that compute with the joystick. So um, I got there in the end. I just need to get more used to what way to, to turn the joystick um, to make it do what I want it to do basically. But yeah, thanks to dad's hand gestures. Um, he's just out of shot there. Um, I got there uh, and it didn't take too long in fairness. 
and really happy with the size of this loader it just it's very maneuverable in this size of shed um which isn't too big as you can see but um and it just tucks away in the corner there nicely so so far so good with it anyway um I got the first bit of silage there off the loader, gave it the smell test and really good actually I must say. And of course I hand fed Big Red because she's a pet, especially when she's in the shed. So then I just opened up the bale. Uh, I was worried that there might be some netting on it because these are the bought bales, but thankfully they use the film. And as you can see here, I completely forgot to loosen the bale with the loader. I suppose I was just so distracted with everything I was doing. Um, so I had to do an extra little bit of piking, but that's all right for one night. Um, I don't mind doing that. Old habits die hard and all of that, but I'll be using the loader in future. Now I'm going to finish the video here while it's kind of quiet in here because with the weaning obviously there's a lot of shouting and roaring, the cows and calves are not happy but yeah so this evening I brought in the yearlings so it's just two cows and two calves left outside. They'll go into the pen tomorrow because they're just coming in for testing and straight back out. At the moment we have the calf with the bad leg in there because we just don't want to chance her on the slats. The vet will have a look at her during testing I hope or while he's here for testing. Um, but yeah, testing was actually pushed out by a week, the vet just couldn't fit us in. So this video is actually, I think, done across maybe two, two and a half weeks, which is crazy. But um, it's just because it was postponed. So I'm not going to show the testing. Um, the weather isn't supposed to be good tomorrow, but hopefully we'll get some bit dry for the testing. I'll try and record what I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get much but I'll see what I can do but thanks again for watching if you liked it give me a like and if you haven't already done so please subscribe thank you